My goal right now um, for boxing is to become um, a gold medalist, either uh, Paris or LA. And um, if that doesn't work out for me, I want to go pro. This, this, this is the gym, y'all. Say, I go to the fights, I go to the fights. Hey, hey, my mama fighting, my mama fighting. <laughs> We're gonna obviously start off with our shadow boxing. We'll okay. do a good four rounds, mm -hmm. so we'll get warmed up with that. Okay. okay. Was there ever a doubt that you step into the ring like most in your family have? Um, well, I wanted. I was playing soccer for a while, and I wanted to pursue that as my career. And I wanted to go pro with it for a while, but then as I got older, I was like, this is not for me. This is not what I uh, love to do anymore. So when my dad was telling me um, the stories about my uncles and what they accomplished, I was just like, why not try it? Like, why not? Like, why can't I? Like, there's no females in my family that box. I'm the first. So I was like, why not? Why can't I put the gloves on and fight like my male cousins and my uncles do? So um, my dad put the gloves on me, worked a little bit of mitts with me, and I instantly fell in love. We're ta when I'm talking about the hook, I know sometimes you're like here, but when I meant to keep it close, is to be here. Like when you're in the, the inside, you're here. Because sometimes they may be too far. So mm -hmm. if you get close in, when you close the gap, be here. Because it's just different variations of different hooks. Yeah, okay. D double jab, right hand to the body. Did double jam right oh, okay, hand okay. to my yeah. Good. Good. And how much does boxing mean to you and your family? It's a tradition in our family. Um, our family produced many boxers. And um, we love to watch boxing. Uh, we love talking about boxing. It's just something that just comes as easy conversation for us. So what's your what's your favorite punch to throw, what would you say? Um, I like my left body, but I'm starting to like my working on my hook. Yeah? Yeah. If it's um, something you can critique yourself on, what would it be? My, how I throw my right hand. How you throw your right hand? Yeah, because when I do like combinations, I don't throw my full power into it and just rely on this one too much. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of, it's not a bad thing, but I was kind of noticing that when you throw your hook. They don't, you guys keep your head gear on, right? Yeah. Okay. The guys The don't? guys, yeah, they don't have See, that's to. that's wild to be. <laughs> Would you want to have your head gear on or off? Um... I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know because I've never like sparred without it on. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I would try it off. Yeah. And also what I don't like is that in the pros, you guys only get two minutes instead of three. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I don't mind the two minutes. <laughs> Three's nice, but for me, it's, with, with the pro game, I wouldn't want to see some women fight three minutes mm -hmm. because of just the competition level. Yeah. So sometimes in the two minutes, you know, you have to work. Yeah. The work ethic. The mm -hmm. work ethic is always going to pay off. Your experience is going to pay off. They're going to notice that more than anything when you step in that ring. She knows what she's doing when she steps in there, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna work more like technique because that's your okay. style, right? Yeah. So get in your stance. Jab. Push. Jab. Push. Jab. Push. Jab. Push. Jab. Push. 
One, two. Good. One, two. Good. Jam. Good. Jam. Good. Right hand. Good. And remember, sit on that back leg so when you throw that right hand, it's coming off your shoulder and from your back leg. Okay. Try it. Good. Throw your right hand, leave it out. Good. Hold it right there. So right here, your chin, just tuck that, tuck that in a little more. Mm -hmm. Good. Sit down a little more on that back leg. There you go. That's where that power is going to come from, that back leg. So here, uh -huh. your shoulder's up. Yeah. Okay. So one, two. Or jab. Good. Jab. Good. Better. One, two. Jab. Three jabs. Good. Jab. Right hand. Hook. Good. Jab. Good. Jab. Good. Do it again. Good. Kind of keep that elbow a little tight when you come and throw from your shoulder. There you go. You have different, I see you have two different types of hooks. You like the, this one from like out here, out here, but try to throw, see, do an inside hook. Yeah. Okay. Like closer we'll go to it my... Slow. Yep. Use your shoulder. We'll go through it slow. One, two, three. Yep. Kind of keep that elbow down a little bit here from your shoulder. Good. Try it. Good. Do it again. Good. Do it again. Do it again. Good. Try to jab. Jab. One, two. One, two. Use those legs too. We're going to do one, two, one, two. So one, two, one, two. Okay. Good. Do it again. Again. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Good. Faint after that. Okay. One, so like two. when you're moving faint? Yeah. Okay. So after the, after your combination, throw a faint. Just okay. keep them on their on their, on their feet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Faint. Yeah. Good. One, two, one, two. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Now we got we got five seconds left. You fainting now? You already win the round, so you're already fainting. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Do you feel like you have a responsibility to fulfill your uncle and family's misfortune at winning gold? Yes. Um, a lot of uh, my family members have had that uh, dream to become a gold medalist, but never actually really achieved it and got around to like um, getting that gold around their neck. And I just, I want to achieve that for my family so bad. And for my grandpa that um, was the one that started all of this for us. Like boxing is so time consuming and so much dedication and discipline is that yeah can't like you got it there's and right now women's boxing has just elevated and I'm so happy like where it's going so like when these girls do decide to turn pro they have something there that's not like how it used to be right That's good girl. We're just gonna do next we're just gonna do some like abs, some push ups, some okay. calisthenic stuff. Okay. You're good. You can take those off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever faced Michaela Mayer in the amateurs? No. No? Mm -mm. Oh. That's why it was so sweet to yeah. fight her as a pro. Uh -huh. I was close to fighting her when they changed. I went to the National Pal in Cali. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be um, a qualifier for the trials, and they changed it at the last oh, minute. <laughs> they changed it at the last minute, and I'm like, oh. so she ended up moving up to 42, and I stayed at 32, so I never got to fight her. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do um, 40 seconds. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, and steal. And steal. And steal. What's going on? How are you? Hey, how you doing? Hi, this is Chantel. Oh, you, you know what you're to do. That girl you fight quiet as hell. Have her shit. Bro. Girl, she, we don't even know who she is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. she. She's just some wild fighter. She is wild. She's some random, no. That's why I'm like, I'm not about to start adding her on nothing, because she don't even get on it. <laughs>
I like to always be humble, let my hands do the talking. And whatever the outcome is the outcome, but obviously if you want to win, come out with the win. Wow, like my hard work is like paying off. It's finally um, doing something for me, like suffering in the gym, um, my sacrifices, um, when I'm sore for like days and days. So yeah, I feel like it's like finally paying off for me and, and like it's one step closer to a boxer that I want to become in the future. Do you need a band? No, it's okay. I just do like um, like stretch my legs because that's where I get the most pain. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, we have rollers. I need a roller. Okay. Do you need a roller? Please. Thank you.